did want to talk to you briefly about some stuff going on uh, in the Republican Party. Uh, the GOP uh, has had to reprimand one of the candidates running for the office of the presidency. His name's Donald Trump. I'm, I'm sure that you've heard of him, Congressman. Uh, he recently attacked Charles Kruttenheimer on Fox News, who happens to be in a wheelchair. He was in, a, in an accident when he was 22 years old. He dove into a swimming pool. He's paralyzed from the waist down. Trump said that he doesn't want to be criticized by a guy that can't buy a pair of pants, of course, referring to the fact that Kruttenheimer is uh, in a wheelchair. Uh, how can we have somebody like this running for the highest office in the land, and how can we take him seriously? Uh, and where do you guys stand with, with Trump, who happens to be surging in the polls at the same time? Well, the problem with Trump is his name ID. He's got a uh, name ID like no one else. Right. There's some there's some uh, people that were walking around, you know, that man on the street type of stuff that they yeah. do um, in DC, or they did it in in New York. And 50 percent of the people they interviewed and didn't know one single person running for president other than Trump. His name ID is very strong. The problem with him is his mouth. He says a lot of things he shouldn't say, and he has no reason to be saying it. And a lot of it even contradicts things he had said in the past. So it's. I think at the end of the day, his issue is, is he's looking to get his name out there more. He's he's more about uh, promoting himself than anything else. Yeah. And he's not serious about actually bringing some real policy uh, solutions to the table, and that's just a shame to to have a guy like that surging in the polls. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that. It was interesting to hear him say he said he'd bomb the hell out of Iraq if he were elected, and it just seems like such an uneducated answer. Another flip-flopper on the Democratic side is Hillary Clinton uh, with that whole Francisco Sanchez situation that happened up in San Francisco. Uh, illegal immigrant deported five times, murdering yeah. an innocent woman on a pier up there in San Fran. In 2008, when Hillary was running for president, she supported this, this new term called sanctuary city, which I'd never heard of. Now she says that we should listen to federal agents and, and keep this guy in the United States. States instead of deporting him. Uh, on the Democratic side, we see the same thing. Uh, candidates that, that don't necessarily seem worthy flip-flopping on key issues to fit the argument that happens to be taking place at this moment in time. Yeah, no, it's frustrating. Uh, as far as the, the root of all this, is, again, is immigration. It has to be addressed. There was an opportunity to pass Border Security Bill, McCall's bill, Chairman McCall, right. and uh, that didn't happen. Uh, I've been pushing for this for a long time for just for this reason. We have to make sure that people that are doing us harm, like the gentleman that killed that, uh, that young lady, th those people need to go. And, uh, and if, they do, if we do kick them across the border, sadly, a lot of times they, uh, the, the criminals like that are the ones that come right back. Yeah, and and uh, they have a real impact on our economy. They have a real impact on our communities. And I know there are a lot of folks that want to... Uh, we want to fix this issue, but this isn't the way to do it. Sanctuary cities is just not the way to do it. It has to go back to a law that works and that secures our nation, but also allows those who, who want to be a good uh, part of our economy, a good part of our country, and understand and believe in the American uh, way. I mean, we want to make sure that the system is in place that works uh, on both sides of that. Right, and we also need to empower federal immigration officials to do their job when it, it yeah. comes to something like this, especially with somebody that's been deported five times. Totally ridiculous. And, and, and some young woman lost her life as a result. So Hillary Clinton flip-flopping yet again. Congressman, such a pleasure to speak with you. Always so well informed. Good luck with the water bill. We also heard yesterday the House passed the Student Success Act. We unfortunately don't have any time to cover that right now, but we look forward to having you on again, maybe as early as next week after this gets through the House. Hopefully uh, Kevin McCarthy and the rest of the Republicans whip, can whip the votes and we can get some water down here to the Valley. We appreciate your time this morning, Congressman. Congressman, have a great weekend. Hey, thanks for having me on.